Hi mga ka-solve math like a boss. So for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang geometric sequence and series. So paano natin malalaman na ang isang sequence ay geometric? And paano ba natin kukunin yung sum ng mga terms ng geometric sequence na tinatawag din natin series? Okay, so let's start. A geometric sequence, um, pag binigyan kayo ng isang set of numbers, um, para malaman kung siya ay geometric sequence, kailangan meron tayong tinatawag na common ratio or yung R. Paano ba natin nakukuha yung common ratio? Ang common ratio ay nakukuha sa pag-divide ng two consecutive. Ang gawin mo lang is to divide two consecutive numbers, two consecutive. Yan. Ano ba yung consecutive? Ibig sabihin nun magkasunod. So, ibig sabihin kahit ano sa dalawa. Okay? Kahit ano dun sa sequence. So, ano lang yan? It's either a sub 2 or divided by a sub 1 or a sub 3 divided by a sub 2 or a sub 4 divided by a sub 3. Basta magkasunod siya. Now, para malaman natin kung sequence to, i-divide natin. Kailangan pare-parehas yung quotient. So, kailangan may common ratio. So, pag divide natin to, 4 divided by 2, that's 2. Um, 8 divided by 4, still 2. 16 divided by 8, that's 2. So, meron tayong common ratio. Okay, which is 2. So, kapag nalaman natin ang common ratio na 2, madali na natin makukuha yung susunod na term. Now, to get the next term, ang gawin natin is to multiply. Okay? So, 16 times 2, that's 32. And next to that is 64. So, that's how you get the next term or next terms in a geometric sequence. Let's have another example. So, this one is 2, comma 1 third, comma 1 over 18. So, anong gagawin natin to get the common ratio? I-divide natin. So, R is equal to A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. Ano ba yung A sub 2? Di ba? 1 third divided by 2. Kapag ganito, ang gawin mo lang is, uh, di ba, whole number tsaka fraction, lagyan mo lang siya ng over 1. So, ito magiging over 1. Yan. Pag nag-divide tayo ng fraction, ang nangyayari dyan, ganito lang ha, Kukunin mo yung 1 third, tapos yung 2 over 1, i-reciprocate mo. Kukunin mo yung reciprocal. So, instead of 2 over 1, magiging 1 over 2 na siya. Tapos, ang magiging operation na is, i-change na natin, magiging multiplication na yan. Ulit, ang gagawin is reciprocal. I-reciprocate natin. Okay? After that, magiging multiplication, tapos magiging 1 over 6 na. So, ang common division natin for number 2 is, 1 over 6. Tingnan natin dito kung parehas ba. 118 divided by 1 third. So, di ba, i-reciprocate natin. So, magiging 1 over 18 times 3 over 1 na siya. Pag minultiply, tapat-tapat lang yan. So, magiging 3 over 18. Or pag sinimplify natin, magiging 1 over 6. Ayan, dinibide natin both by 3. Kasi, doon siya divisible. Okay? So, 1 over 6. Still, 1 over 6 ang ratio. So, paano natin kukunin ang next term? Um, kapag ang ratio natin is 1 over 6, diba to get the next term, we need to multiply. So, 1 over 18 times 1 over 6, sorry, 6, magiging 1 over 18 times 6 lang yan. So, 48, 4, 10, 108. So, 1 over 108. Ganun lang yun, pagkuha ng next term. And, susunod naman ay um, 108 times 1 over 6, 1 over 6, so magiging 1 over 108 times 6 is 648. So, 1 over 648. So, that's how you get um, the next terms in a geometric sequence whose terms are fractions. Yan. Okay? Next. There is a formula for finding the end term of a geometric sequence. Ito yung ginagamit natin kapag halimbawa kukunin natin yung pang 50th term or pang 20th term or whatsoever. So, syempre, alam na, pag natin, ang A sub N natin, ito yung N term or yung hinahanap. Um, si A sub 1, siya yung first term. Si R is yung common ratio. And yung N natin is the term. Ano yung uh, pang ilan siya? Yun ang term. Yun, yun, yun yung N. Okay? So, let's have an example. Um, let's still use 2, 4, 8, and 16 as our example. So, find the 7th and the 10th term. So, substitute lang natin siya sa formula, pero identify muna natin. Ano ba yung R? To get R, di ba R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1. So, magiging 4 over 2. That's 2. So, ang R natin is 2. May R na tayo. Ang N natin, ang N natin is 7 tsaka 
natin. So, maghiwalay natin sa solve. And then, yung first term natin, or yung a sub 1 natin is 2. Ayan. So, complete na na tayo. Substitute natin. So, a sub 7 is equal to a sub 1 to multiplied by ratio, which is 2, raised to 7 minus 1. So, magiging 2 multiplied by 2 raised to 6. Then, 2 multiplied by ang 2 raised to 6 ay 64. And last, multiply natin si 64 by 2, so that's 128. So, ang A sub 7 natin is 128. Next, para naman ang A sub 10. So, A sub 10, still, uh, we use the first term, which is 2. R natin is 2, then 10 minus 1. So, magiging 2 multiplied by 2 raised to 9. Magiging 2 raised, uh, multiplied by 512, kasi 2 raised to 9. And then, finally, A sub 10 is 1024. So that's how you get the end term of a geometric sequence. Next. Ito naman tayong tinatawag ng geometric series, a formula for geometric series. Ito naman po yung pagkuha ng sum ng terms. Basta pag sinabi ng series, makita nyo yung kulong na sum, yun na yun. Okay? So let's have an example. Find the sum of the first eight terms. Ang first term natin, A sub 1, 2. Siyempre, ang R natin, ito pa rin naman ang ginamit natin, 2 yung R natin. Yan lang naman ang mga kailangan natin. Okay? Tapos yung kung natin, kung ano yung hinihingi, yung terms. So, ang kung natin is equal to A. Yan. So, use the formula, A sub N is equal to, ano yung A sub 1 natin, 2 multiplied by 1 minus ang R natin is 2, raised to A, all over 1 minus R, which is 2. Then, magiging 2 multiplied by 1 minus ang 2 is 256 over negative 1 kasi 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So, magiging um, 2 multiplied by, subtract natin to it's negative 255, magkaiba ng sign, so subtract, tapos kapag the sign of the larger number, over negative 1. Then, multiply natin yung taas, so magiging negative 510 over negative 1. Finally, ang S sub N natin is 510 because negative divided by negative is positive. So, ibig sabihin, ang sum ng first three terms natin ay 510. Okay? Next. Find N for the given sequence 1, 4, 16. So, dito naman, N naman yung nawawala. Tapos, binigay yung S sub N natin. Para ma-solve, so, um, syempre, kailangan natin ng A sub 1. Ang A sub 1 natin is equal to 1, Ang R natin, syempre, divide natin A sub 2. Ang R natin, A sub 2 over A sub 1. So, that's 4 over 1, or 4. So, ang R natin is 4, at ang N natin, yun yung sinusolve natin. Substitute lang natin sa formula. Ito yung formula ng sa upper right. So, magiging A to 5, yung S natin, equals, ano yung A1 mo 1, multiplied by 1 minus 4 as ratio, then raised to N, all over um, 1 minus 4. So, magiging A to 5, equal to 1 multiplied by 1 minus 4 raised to n over negative 3. Sinubtract ko yung 1 and 4. Tapos, next step natin is to multiply. Para mawala yung um, denominator natin, multiply natin siya doon sa kapitang side ng equation. So, magiging negative 255 equals 1 quantity 1 minus 4 raised to n. Yan. Tapos, ang next step natin is to divide dyan by A sub 1. So, kung ano yung number na nandito sa labas, sa katabi, yan po, doon natin i-divide. Kasi nakataon lang na 1, so pwede i-cancel na. Pero, at least yung process, basta i-divide siya by A sub 1, which is yung 1. Okay, tapos cancel na natin yan. So, magiging negative 255 pa rin is equal to, tanggapin ko lang parenthesis, 1 minus 4 raised to 10. Okay? Tapos magiging negative 255, is equal to, um, sorry, magiging minus 1 na siya. Is equal to negative 4 raised to n. Bakit? Kasi yung 1 at a constant, pwede natin siyang ilipat dun sa left side. Tapos, subtract natin. Since magkaiparas ng sign, so i-add natin. Negative 256 equals negative 4 raised to n. Tapos, since pares negative yan, multiply natin by negative 1. So, 256 is equal to 4 raised to n. Now, Para ma-solve yung n natin, we need to find a number or we need to rewrite this into exponential form. Na kung saan, dapat ang mismo 4. Okay? So, yung mismo ay 4, ano yung exponent? Hahanapin natin yan. Ano ngayon yung pwede maging exponent ng 4 na kung saan magre-result siya sa 256 pag-evaluate? 
Kung hindi nyo kabisado siya, pwede ka mag-multiply. Yung bow, since 4 to, so 4 times 4, that's 16. So, kailangan mag-56 times 4, that's 64, and then times 4, so 256. So, naging equal na siya sa 256. Dip lang, no? Ilang po ang dynamic mo? 1, 2, 4, and half time. So, ito sa ganyan, 4 to, equals 4 raised to 10. Ito yan, dito yan dyan. Ngayon, dahil pares na ng base, pwede na natin punin yung exponent. So, 4 is equal to n. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kailangan ng 4 terms para makapag-come tayo sa sum ng 85. Tingnan natin, di ba may 1, 4, 16 na tayo? Since tatlo na yan, kula ng isa. Ang dito na dito, di ba 64? Add natin. 1 plus 4, 5. 8 plus 64, that's um, 80. Tapos, 5 plus 80, so 85. So then, check yung sagot natin. Okay? So that's it. The geometric sequence and sales. So thank you. Okay.